Hello everybody, this is Sergei Ostapenko calling directly from the Nikomotab studio, which is situated in Ukraine, in Odessa city. Uh, I would like to thank to Mr. Mike Glaney for the invitation to teach this class for you guys. Thank you, Mike. Hello again. Uh, let me introduce myself. I am a three-time world champion, two-time European champion, uh, multiple champion of Ukraine in tap dancing, and also I am a PhD in the history of literature. Uh, so, uh, what is our plan for today? Uh, I would like to talk about the relaxation technique in this class. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this theme is interesting for the tap dancers of different levels. Beginners, intermediate, for the advanced tap dancers. It's really important to be able to produce not only simple shuffles, but also three sound shuffles, four sound shuffles, super shuffles. Uh, four sounds, flaps, and, and so on. Um, I will start with some basics and uh, I will give you some exercises that can improve your relaxation technique. So, let's start, let's start, let's do it! Woohoo! So, the first thing that you need to know about the relaxation technique is the following. There are two types of shuffles and of course you need to know both. Uh, I'm gonna show them to you. Let me put the camera on the floor so you could see my feet. So, if you want to do the shuffle of the first type, then bend your knee, make a brush, straighten your knee, do the brush back and bend your knee again. So it goes like this. And if you want to do the shuffle of the second type, then you have to do the following. So as you can see, I do not bend my knee after the second sound. My knee is still straightened. And it is still a shuffle. Uh, my foot is relaxed, but I have a tension in my knee and in my quads. So this is the first type, this is the second type. Let's try to connect it, let's try to combine it. We will do the four shuffles of the first type. Then we will do the four shuffles of the second type. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Left, left foot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you are good in doing both types of shuffles, then try to make it harder at the third sound. So, the three sound shuffles. Uh, if you want to do the three sound shuffle, then bend your knee, make a brush, make a brush, and go back. So it goes like this. Let's do it four times in a row. One, two, three, four. And now let's make a three sound shuffle of the second type. So it goes like this. So use the technique of the straightening of the knee. Let's do it four times in a row. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now let's put the both types of three sound shuffles together. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The way how your knee works is really important for the relaxation technique. Please pay attention and work on it. And now let's talk about the four sound shuffles. So the four sound shuffle is a shuffle with the two heels. So it goes like this. So as you can see, I have four sounds. A toe, heel, heel, then a toe. If you are not able to produce the four sound shuffle, then practice doing this. So as you can see, I have only two heels and all that I'm doing is just straightening my knee. Get all the tension out of your foot. Be nice and smooth. Now let's do it with the left foot. So if you are able to produce these two heels, then you are able to do it with the toe. So it's heel, heel, and then just put a toe on the floor. So we have three sounds. 
If you are able to do this, then add a brush and you will have... So it's just toe, heel, heel and then put the toe. Now the other side. If you are, are able to do it, then pick your foot up and you will have the four sound shuffle. So it goes like this. But the main thing is the relaxation of the foot and the straightening of your knee. And be nice and smooth. And now let me give you a short and a simple exercise that unites all these elements together. And now let me give you a time step that can help you to improve your four sound shuffle. But at first, what is a time step? Um, every time step consists of four parts. The first three parts are supposed to be the same. And then you have a break. Uh, so the fourth part is supposed to be completely different. So its structure is A, 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 B. And now let's try to do a time step with the four sound shuffles. So it goes like this. One, two, three, four. Then left side. One, two, three, four. Then I will have right shuffle, left shuffle, and the right. So we have two, two, one, one, one. One, two, let's combine. Now let's do the same, but starting with the left side. One, two, three, four. This is the second part. The third part, uh, it repeats the, the first one, but with one difference. We will finish with the step step. So let's do it. One, two, three, four. And now the break. Now the break. So we will have two shuffles, then a toe heel, two shuffles, and a toe heel. Then right shuffle, toe, toe heel, heel toe step. Uh, here is the rhythm. Guys, when you practice this exercise, try to be as clean as it possible. If you miss at least one sound, then it means that the exercise is done wrong. Sorry to say that. Uh, okay, now let me put all the four parts of this time step together. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to the next theme. Uh, let's talk about the super shuffles. At first, let me give you some basics. And after that, I want to teach you an exercise that can help you uh, to improve your super shuffles. So let's do it. So there are three sounds in a super shuffle. Right? Uh, the hardest thing is to get the second sound in a super shuffle. 
So uh, let me give you one trick that can help you uh, to find that second sound. So put your uh, foot on the floor like this. Then straighten your knee and push it hard to the floor. Like this. And you will get that second sound. So as you can see it is a super shuffle but without the first sound. And if you can do it, then put your foot uh, up and then and then you will get it. Um, at first try to, to put it on the floor and then if you can do it clean then pick your foot up and practice it all the time. And after that you will be able to use it like and some cool other stuff. Okay, now let's learn an exercise that can help you to improve your super shuffles. So, you have a toe, then you have super shuffle, toe, flap, step, step, and the spank. The rhythm is tiki tiki da ti ta te ta ta. One, two, three, four. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. Last time. Then you have to do the same with your left foot. So it is toe, super shuffle, toe, flap, step, step, and the spank. The same rhythm. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Now, let's put it together. Right foot, then left foot. One, two, three. Again. Set, uh, next part. So you have you have toe. You have super shuffle. Toe, then toe, and a toe. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you have so it's flat. Then toe. Pedal toe step step. The rhythm is tiki tiki da ti da ti ti da ti da ti ti bam bam. Again, one, two, three, four. Let's make it from the top. One, two, three. Again, one, two. The same thing you have to do with your left foot. Uh, the same combination. One, two, three, four, one. Two. Then you have to repeat this part two times. So let's go. So it's A A B A A B B B. Let's take it from the top. One, two, three, four. A A B B B. Then you have to repeat the A section twice. So it's again one, two, three, four. And now you have the C section. So it goes like this. So you have three super shuffles in a row. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, one. And finish the exercise with toe, toe. So, shuffle toe step. So, uh, the C section goes like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's take it from the top. One, two, three, four, one.
Okay guys, thank you so much for your attention. I hope that this uh, introduction to the relaxation technique class was useful for you. Um, practice, practice and practice. Take care of yourself. Good luck.